So my name is Bruno Michel. I'm leading the effort from IBM research on the well-being pilot. So what is the functionality and, and data set? So the functionality of the well-being pilot, the particular functionality is that we generate and use simulated data in order to uh, make sure that uh, we can uh, cover all privacy aspects and we also provide new functionality to allow GDPR conformity uh, with a limited lifetime of data sets. And one aspect uh, which is important also in the well-being pilot is to demonstrate uh, interoperability and cross-consumption with other pilots. Uh, the functionality of the well-being pilot is to monitor elderly patients or workers or athletes uh, with sensors uh, and uh, monitor performance, safety uh, and, and, and coaching, for example. Uh, the service is being pro provided by caregivers or uh, supervisors or coaches uh, based on the data that is acquired. And the main objective is to improve quality of life or reduce risk. Uh, we are basing our well-being pilot on uh, different data sets. Uh, so the version one uses a data set uh, uh, for elderly monitoring or elderly care data, activity of daily living, which uh, was acquired uh, as part of the European project ActiveAge. And based on that, we are creating simulated data. Later versions can then also be based on work safety data uh, from a project called DeStress, uh, where we monitor stress of firefighters in a training cage maze. The, the final one is uh, uh, monitoring and coaching of people with chronic diseases. Uh, and that also provides a data set, which is called CARE. Now, the ActiveAge data set is based on a monitoring system that has been built as part of the ActiveAge project, which uh, monitors activity of daily living uh, of, uh, of elderly uh, that uh, recover from a stroke, but still uh, live at home. And so that's monitored by a present sensor, toilet sensor, bed or, uh, sensor, chair and door sensor. And the service is being provided uh, based on the data and the analysis uh, then done in, in a, this cloud infrastructure uh, for healthcare providers, family members and, and, uh, and to the elderly themselves also. Um, so this monitoring system has been built up, but it, it's not used directly, but indirectly uh, via a simulated layer, overlayer. So the data is being uh, simulated uh, to, to show then the sensors and, uh, and then we, we can use then the analysis to provide the services. So the data has been uh, uh, simulated and uh, played onto a, a server, which can provide metadata with this API. Uh, it, it can get the sensor data and process data uh, and provide them uh, via uh, the IC market background, the metadata and peer-to-peer -peer for, the, for the sensor data. And as mentioned before, it's uh, um, ActiveH data and, and uh, it's, it's called ActiveH server. And what we see here is the server. Uh, it's a cloud uh, provisioning IBM cloud. Uh, we have here the, the data, uh, just the uh, monitoring of, of sleep data. And the, uh, the functionality of the server can be tested uh, uh, routinely using a, a, a Python program so that we are sure that the, the uh, ActiveH server is running continuously. And this server is then being used uh, uh, for the well-being pilot. Uh, so this is the ActiveH server. So we can address the, um, the, the server via REST APIs from the well-being pilot user interface. Uh, and the, the well-being pilot user interface provides the group monitoring solutions functions, which is a, a firewall. So it um, can do local user customer management. Um, uh, in addition, so we have two um, 
two functionalities welding portal that uh, distinguishes between uh, the different uh, um, implementations, active age, care, and work safety, and the group monitoring solution, which is then one of these uh, functions. Uh, so the, the data that we acquire and uh, exchange is being used then for the providing of services as part of the well-being pilot. So we, we have a, a service provider that uh, acquires data from the customer, uh, the elderly, for example, uh, and we have caregivers and relatives who, who can provide, provide the service. And we can exchange the data and metadata and provide searches and, and offers via the ice market backplane uh, to the other pilots, uh, uh, the automotive and the manufacturing pilot. Now, uh, the functions that we implemented are uh, uh, user management, registration. So we have a, a, a local set of users, which then can be uh, interacting also with the ISP market backplane. Then we log in uh, via the, the uh, user interface. Uh, and uh, we have a, a local backend, which is uh, performed on Strapi, and, and the front end is, uh, is a carbon based front end. Here is the Wellbeing portal. So the Wellbeing portal supports different group monitoring solutions, the active age assisted living, the distress work safety and the care of chronic disease coaching implemented is only this. So here we have the metadata, <coughs> which is provided from the active age server, uh, channel description, uh, where has the data been acquired, time, uh, data acquisition, and then the different persons that the data has been acquired from uh, with the different sensors. Uh, and, and, and then the, the, the sensor images and, and then, of course, the, the sensor data that can be extracted and, and displayed based on the input. So what we are sh uh, showing here is the uh, approach to, to provide offers uh, and, and searches. So a particular speciality of an offer provided from, uh, the, from the well-being pilot is that uh, it, it's uh, contains or it, it, it in, requires a limited data lifetime. So here, a uh, late data lifetime of, of three days or 72 hours uh, is important to ensure GDPR compatibility without having to get the informed consent from the user of this data that is being offered as part of the Wellbeing Pilot. So in case the user wants uh, the data uh, later, after three days, he has to re-download and, and make confirm again the lifetime uh, of, of the data set. And then uh, the, the, there is the interface to search for offers provided via the IC market backplane. Uh, again, we have the, the ability to, to uh, um, filter for a certain price and lifetime of the data. Uh, and, and, then, uh, and then trigger the search. And what I'm showing here is uh, the result of searches, uh, a list of searches uh, that uh, um, are available. Uh, and uh, uh, we also can provide lists of offers that uh, are provided from our side, from the ActiveH Pharma side. So uh, for a demo, which uh, I cannot do at this time, uh, we, uh, we do not necessarily have to show the login functionality because that has been covered by other pilots. So we'll show the, the Wellbeing portal, then the metadata, and also uh, the data that is being uh, uh, stored for a certain user. We can show the, the provider, active age provider. Uh, we can register and, 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 and uh, publish an offering. Uh, we can show list of offerings, then we can trigger a search uh, and uh, um, the trigger search for own offerings, but uh, most importantly for uh, cross consumption uh, uh, and then show the uh, list of, uh, of uh, search results uh, from the i3 market backlane. Yeah, so this completes the, the presentation for the Wellbeing Pilot.